are new to my channel kindly subscribe and also like and share this video if you find this video helpful thank you let's get started in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to draft out a basic sleeve how to draft out a basic sleeve so what are the measurements you need for this and uh, uh, tutorial what are the measurements you need for this tutorial the measurement i need is the sleeve length the cap height the elbow level the wrist level so i'm going to measure out all this in my tutorial so this type of sleeve is a long sleeve i purposely chose a long sleeve because you can use it to you can use any length from this long sleeve you can draft out short sleeve you can draft draft out the elbow length sleeve you can draft, draft out in three quarter anyone you want to draft out you can use this measurement as the basis to draft out any kind of sleeve you want any length so from here the first thing we are going to do is to measure a straight line here that will be as a guide So this will be like my border. I'm going to measure this bit So from here, I'm going to I will measure my sleeve length as I told you, which is 23 inches. It's here already. Then I will measure that straight line for my sleeve length. This is where my length, the length I wish. So this upper head is my is my sleeve cap and this is where my wrist will be my wrist this is where it will be so from there the next measurement i'm going to measure is my cap height my cap height so what is cap height cap height is the measurement that we use it's, it's, it's we have a standard measurement for this cap height depending on your body weight and size so there is a chart i'm going to show you you are going to see different cap height for different sizes and height so this is the standard i've been using and it has been working for me so you can use it whenever you want to draft out your sleeve for my own cap cap height the standard measurement for my own cap height is 5 3 over 4 which is 5.75 5 3 over 4 so that 5.75 cap height is what I'm going to use now, my cap height. 5.75, which is also or 5.3 over 4. Is what I'm going to use as my cap height now. So, I'm going to measure 5.3 over 4 here. So, from here, I'm going to, so with that, I'll measure another perpendicular line as fast as my cap height. So, so, on this cap height, the next measurement I'm going to input on my cap height, you know this is the, the start the, this is my sleeve cap I said this is my wrist this is my wrist this is my wrist my sleeve cap and this is my cap height so I'm going to use something to do. So this is my cap height. So from this cap height, I'm going to measure, bring out my bicep. What is bicep? Bicep is also known as your arm, your upper arm measurement, like your round sleeve. You measure your upper arm with your tape pull. You place your tape pull on your upper arm and you measure. This is my upper arm. And the measurement that I have here, is 13 13 inches so my upper arm is 13 inches so from there i'm going to measure put out 13 inches 13 inches divided by two you know i folded this into two i folded it into two so 
I'm going to input 6.5. So this is my bicep. She's also my upper arm. So I have the measurement here. This is my bicep. From that point, from this point to the needle of my sleeve here, to the center needle of my sleeve here, I'm going to draw a straight line to connect the points together. So, after connecting the points together, I'm going to input my elbow line, elbow line measurement. This is your elbow. So from this, you place your measurement, you place your tape, then you measure straight to your elbow. You can find somebody to measure you, if you have someone that can do that for you. And my elbow is 12 inches. My elbow is 12 inches from work. From the sleeve cap, from the sleeve cap, I'm going to measure 12 inches on my elbow. Which is here. This measurement depends on the individual. So I'm going to draft out a straight line from that elbow. I will draft out a straight line. So I'm going to input my wrist, my wrist measurement. What is my wrist measurement? If I measure my wrist now, I'm going to put some ease. So this is eight inches. Dividing eight inches by two, I have four. So I'm going to put four here with half inch ease. I have four and half. Or you can still leave it like this. Depends on you. So this is. I'm now going to connect the points together to my bicep on a straight line, connect it together. So I have this. So from here, I'm going to draft out my arm hole. So for our arm hole curve, what we need now is to divide the measurement that is here by two so this is what i have here eight three over four so i'm going to divide it into two with this two Dividing this into two, I have this almost four and a half, almost four point five. This is like four point four. This is four point four. So this four point four. From here, I'm going to measure half inch inward. Let me first of all get my my back back and arm hole. For my back hole, arm hole. For my back arm hole, back arm hole, I measure half inch outward. So this half inch that I have measured outward, I use my core ruler. I first go use my straight ruler to connect it to this point. Now we can use my. So for my front arm hole, I'm going to divide 
this into two. I have four and a half here. So if I divide that four and a half into two, I will have two, two for two. Two for two, two, zero point two five. Or two one over four. Let me say two one over four. Two one over four is what I'm going to have. Two point two five. Two one over four. So my two one over four is here. From here, I will measure half inch inward. From here, I'm going to measure half inch inward. So after measuring the half inch inward, so this is how I'm going to use my cup ruler for this measurement. So I prefer to use this. For my this is my front arm hole. So my front arm hole is different from my back arm hole. I have my back arm hole already. So this is my front arm hole. I'm going to connect this point to this. So I'm not going outward. I'm going to connect this point straight with this. And after connecting it, I'll, I'll come down like this. This one will come inward by half inch before I connect it to this. You can use your free hand and as well, you can also use your French box to, to do this. Make sure that the off edge is touching this side. So then you connect it. So this is for my this is for my front bodies. So I'm going to blend all these sharp edges. I'm going to blend all these sharp edges. So after blend is I have this. This is my front angle. Front. Arm hole. This is my front arm hole. So this is my front arm hole. It is the front arm hole that will come inward. Why the back arm hole will just be like this. So with this, I have my basic sleeve cut. So I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to cut this out now. So after cutting it out, before cutting it out, let's add. You can add extra half inch and seam allowance. So I'm going to use a straight line to draw that in seam allowance. So, so this is my basic uh, sleeve. You can from here, if you want to cut a short sleeve, you can stop your measurement here. You can measure it out for your short sleeve. Maybe you want to use seven. You just go straight like this. You cut it off for your short sleeve. If you want to use the elbow, if you want to use the cutter, you can measure from here, you can measure 16 inches, you draw it, your straight line out here, then you have your, you can draft any size out from this basic end sleeve. So from here, the next thing is to cut it out. I'm adding extra half inch to cut it out here, down. So when you get here, first of all, cut out your back arm. Angle. So from this back angle, so that back angle will be here, will be the one that is here. So you can use this one to cut out your front angle. So this is my front angle. And I can give it a notch. Notch it. What you are notching is your sleeve sleeve cap as you can see in this uh, diagram so what i have here is already what is here so this is my elbow line and this is my wrist so from here i've transferred what is here to here you have everything ready now with this draft with, with what i have drafted here you can use this for any of your um, sleeve length you can use it to draft your sleeve length and this is beautiful as you can see when you want to fix it from your basic sleeve that you cut out since this is the front the front goes with the front as you can see the front will go with the front then you, you are going to place it like this 
come like this, come like this, and come like this. You can see it match. It's perfect now. It's the, you know, we have extra one inch is what I added. That's why this one is, and this one is half inch. So I didn't mean I added one inch to it, but it's still okay, as you can see. So if you want to add, if you want to fix it, this is how you just place it. From the center here, you come down. I don't know how this one will go, but it will still blend. You come. For the front, this is, I'm fixing the front using this. As you can see, can you see? It is okay. And for the back, you are going to fix. This is for the back angle. You are going to put it fixed from this center. Then you go, go on and on, on and on, on and on, on and on like that. As you can see, this is very, very beautiful and okay. So, I have, we have our sleeve ready. We have our sleeve ready. So, this is the sleeve. We have our sleeve ready. If you find this video helpful, you can subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, and also don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I would like to see you in my next video. Bye.